personal thoughts, but I, it's kind of stuck with me. I th what do you mean that we couldn't do the extension if we did that? Because I we thought did the pergola, yeah, you wouldn't have enough room to put an addition on. Well, but the plant, that's why I brought it up last time. Yeah, I know plant, you did. That's why I went and looked at it. But you said it, it, the pergola would restrict that. Right. Oh, yeah, that's what she's saying. Know? I'd say that oh. pergola, which oh. they're telling me it has to go down six feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, a little coyote wandering around. A coyote? Oh, wow, it's a Is big it? one. It's a big one. Wow. <laughs> it looks pretty healthy, too. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Looks as though he got his dinner. <coughs> wow. I didn't realize. I thought there were more silvers than that, more gray. So that's what I was coming up with. Just, well, I, I, I that was my original about. concern. Um, and you said that wasn't a problem. So I, what's going well, on? Where, no, where I got was, to be honest with you, I got hung when they said they have to go down six, six feet, feet yeah. and put these big things in and all this. And I'm like, why? I don't, I you know. I, I had the biggest search to go call a company and say, do you have to go down six feet? What What's the problem with six feet? I, it's just you're going to be pouring cement. You're going to go down there. So now what happens if you want to tear it down so you can put the addition on there? Well, I, I, again, tearing it down, I thought that the addition could happen with that up. Right. My understanding is the addition is going over the pad. The, the pergola is going over the patio. The addition would be to the left of the patio, and it would go out that way. So um, from what my understanding is and from the plans that it looked like for their second phase, it's going to go out from the other side of this door out that way and up. It's not going to affect the patio. That's what I was Okay. Under the impression of that, I I didn't know that, so I just brought it up just because I it just. Stopped. Well, I'm worried about that too. Yeah. Um, Shouldn't that be addressed in what we're going to get on the? Plans? Yes, that's what I was hoping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we again, can I have. Talk to Glenn about that one. But, but I think we need to see the plans for the uh, yes. extension as well. Yeah. Right. And, and verify that. And, oh, that would oh, kill it. Uh, we Couple definitely of have to be able to yeah. do the extension. Thoughts. <clears throat> um, I uh, think. It's important from an elder care perspective that we really address down the road, um, not only potential to expand because ground level property is a hot ticket, right? The, the stuff on the second floor is less desirable for people who are mobility impaired and dropping off and picking up. And the second thing is many of these elder cares are very lucrative. Therefore, they're run privately. They're not typically attached to a government agency because there's money to be had in them. So lots and lots of corporations, uh, both nonprofit and for-profit, um, glam on to daycare for elders. And then the third thing to know is um, uh, that the um, this is particularly hard on families who have no money, mm -hmm. have no resources for caregiving. It, I'm I'm certainly sympathetic to executives, but I'm also terribly sympathetic to people who have no caregivers who have 60 hours a week extra to care. So I think this is an issue that affects everyone yeah. mm -hmm. across the spectrum. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Oh, down the line, if we do choose to do this, um, it is becoming, um, uh, from what I understand, it is becoming more and more common to do this. Marsh Marshfield, Duxbury, Situate all have um, social day. They're not the medical model, they're social day. Um, and it is less expensive. I believe it's like $35 or $40 a day um, for instead of the 80 for profit um, making um, businesses. So um, we would certainly look into that and find out what exactly it all entails and how we would make it so that it at least has to be self-sustaining, I would imagine. Um, uh, but that's really down the line, but okay. I think we can make it cool. work. Um, and it might be more appropriately staffed rather than what is going on now that I suspect is that there are elders who are or, and adults who are dropped here. Um, and may or may not have um, more needs, perhaps some days, than our staff can uh, right. attend to. Sure. And mm -hmm. that would be better to have the appropriate level of staffing if we're doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just guessing, but I'm, I'm way over my skis right now. But I'm <laughs> guessing <laughs> that these elders already exist here. Yes. Yeah. 
So social care is just a day program right in these other schools yeah. it's a, right it does it won't have a nurse or anybody to yeah. give medicine or or oversee that part of it but it is really just to keep someone um who is probably not safe by themselves during the day maybe their you know caregiver works during the day and they need somebody to just kind of watch them um keep them socialized during the day um so it's 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 called social day and not an adult day yes yeah. A lot of them Gosh, do a lot, as I understand. They do little projects right. to service the community. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it keeps them a bit stimulated during yeah. the day, and um, they talk about events of the, so I, events of the day, that kind of thing. Yeah. But um, I have um, I have not walked through Marshfields, but I've walked um, through Duxbury. So I think there's the first one that I've noticed um, when they first built their new center. They added that. Marshfield did it when they just added for their new phase, I believe it was that, and situate um, with their new center they have. It's not very big. I don't think they have very many um, patrons, um, but it's something. Well, I think if we were to go that direction, I think we should hire medical personnel. Uh, I, I think that would be another. Like, that's, that's, that's another whole. That's whole. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think we'd want to do it with with, with the current staff. Obviously, I, I, oh, no, I no, agree that we have that to have separate staff. Yeah. But I don't. I, <clears throat> I don't think we'd want to get into the medical business. Well, not I the know. medical business, but I just want some sort of you know protect liability and have people here that can address things immediately. Yeah, complete separate staff. Just right. The right. Social. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, maybe it's one person. I don't. I don't. I don't know about. It. Well, there's. I'm regulations. sure there are regulations for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, might... I bet there's a demand for that yes. already. Yeah. You don't even address. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Current. And there's probably vendors out there that do this on sure. a lease basis. Mm -hmm. You know, they yeah. just like the town was going to do with the new town hall they proposed right. to run that real estate. Do we have an idea how much the new extension would cost? I I don't, I don't know. know. How big was it supposed to be? How many how many compared to this? Is it a third again the size or I don't really honestly remember. Okay. I had a feeling it was more like a quarter. Okay. I'm not sure. It space is the issue. Yeah. And when they say going out towards the sidewalk, they can't even go really right to the sidewalk. I, I, I don't just on the surface I, I don't see any need for this pergola but um well let's well, let's walk through it yeah right. where yeah. it goes I think that's and Glenn that's said next month thing. no he said le last month last month no I know but I thought no didn't he, he just, said yeah. December I just I just checked in with him last week and I said are you ready for the the board meeting and he said no I haven't heard he says but it's going to be all set we're going to get the information we need i should be all set uh, should be ready for you for the january meeting. okay january. perfect and, and those... i said that worries me are we going to be if you right. do it we're going to be done by june 30th yeah, right. he said oh he said oh yeah yeah that easy peasy <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm a guy who waits to have his boat uh, launched every year and I have to put up with the weather in May and April. Uh, well, again, there's nothing we can do without any without. Do we know if they're gonna have to dig up any of the um, brickwork out there, any of the stonework? Probably to put those pilings in. Yeah. I'm imagining, yeah. or they're going to do it right outside the pot, uh, the brickwork. Okay. Um, yeah, outside the stones. Yeah. Wow. I thought he said he wasn't going to have to. So it's right outside. I think it was in the drive. I think he may have said something like that. He'll tell us. Yeah. Yeah. He, he'll, he'll know. Question for him. Yeah. Well, we will see what happens. <laughs> okay. Can we go over the minutes from uh, last last month? Uh, any issues on that? Make a motion accept to accept the minutes. the minutes. You get a second? Second. On the motion, uh, discussion on the motion, on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. And uh, now can we go through the treasurer's report? So we have a couple this month. Yeah. We have the two page um, report. <laughs> Top page is just the um, is all departments, and second page is strictly the, the grants. Just to clarify that, um, 
so we are at a um, expenditures for the general fund we're 27,611 which is on budget the remaining balance we've um, spent 40 percent of our budget for the five month period so we're right where we really should be uh, within the grants we did receive the first installment which is 50 percent of the formula grant that we're expecting for fiscal year 24 that's what that 15,106 is the remaining is expected in um, January, and um, how we're going to spend it, I know that's a continuing thing, so maybe we can talk about that when Nancy does her, her report. Um, expenditures out of the grant column, as you'll see on the next page, are for the formula grant, and they represent um, oh, a couple of payments that were made for the Safe Driver Program and to the National Council on Aging. The carryovers, when I do that reconciliation at the bottom of the page, we're still, they still have not yet completed that um, adjustment. They made an adjustment. All the other carryovers came out well within the gift accounts, which is critical. Um, but within the grant accounts, we don't understand what they were doing with those. So we're meeting potentially to Wednesday, uh, Wednesday morning, morning at 930 or 10 o'clock, whatever yes. it was, um, with the new town accountant Hopefully she'll be familiar with the information enough that that she can. We'll be able to bring it, it up to, sure. to her. Um, but to your knowledge, nobody has the state hasn't come back in to take back that formula grant additional amount. So somewhere it's in the books. We just don't see it on right. our books. Um, all righty. Within revolving fund, we're at a negative one. 1394 year to date. I think that's really just because there was some, for some reason, the, um, I didn't see any receipts being posted after November 4, 9th. So between the 9th and the 30th. But the expenses all got paid. So I think that's just a temporary timing issue. Gift and donations, the receipt of 5000 the expenditure of 1184 all relate to the social worker grant coming in and going out. And that's it. Any questions, comments? Hey, it's Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. How are you? Hi. Hey. How, how much money do you think is going to be left over? Is it like ten or twenty thousand? I mean, is there enough to pay for that pergola? <laughs> yeah. Ah, we've got the we've got the fifty thousand. Um, in total, what was the e, what's the ECO? No, twenty five thousand under that ECO earmark that we were just talking about. We have to spend in order to get that grant within the gift accounts. We have a carryover. I mean, excuse me, within the um, formula <clears throat> grant, we have it's on page two, but you don't get that probably um, a carryover of twenty four thousand, and that's before. We pick up the thirty thousand for the current year, so there are funds available. We're we're looking for that twenty four thousand. What happened to it? We don't know. Okay. So we can we can pretty much. Um, I'm sure they'll find it. Yeah, oh, it's in a balance sheet account. We don't get balance sheet accounts. Okay. Yeah, it's probably 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 got lumped into some somebody else's account, but um, so we know the money's there. So I would think that we could combine. You know, get that matching grant and use the carryover to be able to do that pergola that we don't have to go to uh, CPC. Right. Well, we're, we're, for the pergola, we were thinking because the, um, it's the 25,000 plus we were going to do it, need another 25,000 approximately. He said it's about a $50,000 pergola. So mm -hmm. that was going to either come from the formula grant or gift account. That was the that was what I think that we we had decided. So I'm not going okay. to see. Okay. Not, not go to see. Okay. I thought that had to do with the excess for the van. No, that's the if you're looking at your numbers, that's the furthest column out on the first page. Capital project, the leftover money, the thirty four thousand. Oh, okay. Thirty one. We're not gonna be able to <laughs> That was earmarked for the van at town meeting. If it doesn't get spent on the van, they're going okay. to take it back and put it into the general fund. I'm sure they just haven't recorded that yet. So let's 
now then on the other page on uh, mm -hmm. the ECO earmark for the pergola. Yes. Where does that come from? That's just a, uh, a proposed expense, right? No, that's we did get twelve thousand five hundred dollars back in I don't know September, yeah. something like that, <clears throat> um, from the grant. Which from which grant? The twenty five thousand grant. EC. Oh yes. So we got half of it, and then they'll give us the second half once we spend up to. I mean, we'll spend in excess of twenty-five in all probability, but um, they'll pay us up to twenty-five thousand once we give them the receipts for the expenditures. And if we don't do the pergola, this goes back. Correct. Okay. Unless we can find something else. Yeah, unless we can find something else. Yeah. Yeah. Which has to be an outdoor structure because that's what I told them we were spending it on. Screening, I think, would count. I think your patio idea would count. Uh, I don't know about the bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bar by Springs the bocce cord. <laughs> Can't be over the bocce cord. Oh, this is still way up in the air. Right. Until we hear more inclined. So overall, may I ask you, are we in trouble or are we Looks fine? Like we're good. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Once we clear up that twenty-four thousand, we're all set. Thirty. I'm sorry. Yeah, twenty-four thousand. The formula. Anything else you want to bring up? Nope. Uh, okay. On the treasury report, uh, all those in second? favor? Oh, I'm sorry. Can we get, can get a second? Okay. Uh, on the motion. On the motion. On the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes carried. Treasury reports accepted. Okay. And now the director's report. Right. Send them down this. Oh, this was the old one. November. Right. Oh, that was November. This yeah. Is I was doing the same thing. Right. <laughs> I do too. Maybe Richard, I don't know, maybe this is, it's, you don't have a chance to get this done before Richard sends out the you, attachments. It would be better, I think, have to have it with the minutes else. and yes. with the, you know, that yeah. we can get a look last at month. Exactly. <laughs> then we have last month's with twice because yeah. we get it at the right. meeting and we also get it in the mailing. Okay. All right, um, so I wanted to talk because uh, Patty, as you all know, Patty Smith is doing a fabulous job with our programming, sure and she's really shooting things out of the park. Um, and what she proposes is a um, community dinner on May 23rd, which is a Thursday. It's not the Tuesday that we're all used to. Um, and she wants to uh, she she wants to um, contract with a, um, a gentleman who does live music of patriotic songs and thought that maybe if we did the community dinner uh, before it and then had the music <coughs> afterwards, it would be sometime um, around Memorial Day. And I know, Rich, you had mentioned something maybe that the <coughs> DAV or, or the, the group that you're... VFW. Uh, VFW would want to do maybe something for the veterans. Um, and that might be a good way if you wanted to provide the food for that or, um, or at least the... However, you wanted to add your input to that and we could still do it, um, something to look forward to, plan on a community dinner for that day around that, and it would be in celebration of Memorial Day. So um, wanted you guys to mull that over, see if you wanted to do something like that. Um, well, my, my plan was not for a dinner. My plan was for a regular lunch, uh, and not lobster rolls, lobster casserole, or something along those lines. Um, just for veterans, Rich, or what? No, for oh, everybody. Okay. But but I mean, primarily a lunch to yep. get people who come here every day for lunch uh, to have that. Um, opening up the community dinner just that much more expense. I don't. I'd have to right. go back to the BFW on that. Like Sixty people, especially uh, if we did lobster. It might be a eighty yeah. ninety people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. Well, should could that day be just the lunch instead of a dinner community lunch? What's it? There's really no, I mean, every lunch really I know, is open it's a to Thursday everybody. Lunch day, yeah. but 
promoted. We just wanted to do, well, the dinners, as we know, more people we get, a, kind of a little bit of a different crowd um, on the evenings. So, um, oh, a much larger crowd. Yeah, and a larger crowd. Um, so we certainly don't have to do that, but we'll probably, we'd like to do the community dinner along with this um, patriotic songs. Um, that's the plan. I think, the plan, I think, doing something I think that's a good idea. Different. Different. I think people would really together. enjoy it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I would too. You know, a lot of towns do a veterans dinner or lunch. <clears throat> I was just hearing about what they did in Situate recently. Must have been around it's Veterans Day, veterans probably. Day, yeah. um, and it's in like a hundred people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Hingham is bigger than that too. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Paul, I'm just going to send you a copy of this um, now, so you can look at what we're looking at. Now, why, why the Thursday? What's the... Uh... Um, I think that was the date that the gentleman um, oh, okay. wants to do, okay. to do. Now, that would still be involving you and Dan then, right? Um, well, we also... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. No, not necessarily. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> now, and we do have that... Uh, we, I'm just trying to back out. Right. <laughs> Yes. I notice how I mentioned how I laid that out. <laughs> this glass, so smooth. Yeah. So smooth. <laughs> well, no, I mean that that's a concern. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to commit that far in advance, or what. What would the other proposal be? Having an outside company come in and uh, yeah, we do have. We we spoke with a, a gentleman who. Um, the, for the kitchen coordinator job, and uh, really, he'd be willing to do some um, community suppers or big events. Mm. So I think we'd start off with somebody like him. You have somebody interested in that position? Yay. Fantastic! Yeah, so that's really good. Um, and he's used to large crowds; does not face him at all. So um, I'd probably well, do that. For I know we're jumping minutes. ahead, but if, if he were to come on board, or he or she could come on board. Would we open lunch on Mondays as well? Unlikely. Why? Because right now we have that we have cafe in the morning, so yeah. they couldn't get in there anyway, and they they're there till eleven thirty. I mean, it's something we have to look at and see the logistics of yeah. how that would okay. work. But um, it just has not even been on the on horizon. Yeah. If we had a not just a kitchen coordinator, but a chef. That might be a consideration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, the town okay. wants to give me a chef. Um, it's already an issue with people overlapping. Sometimes you have a meal that needs stuff done the day before. Mm -hmm. Somebody's in there cooking their lunch for that day, and somebody else wants to come in and do stuff they need to get ready for the next day. So adding another day, I think, would just add more chaos to the chaos that exists sometimes already in there. Huh. Well, I, you know... I was down at Situate, and uh, I wasn't there to eat lunch. I was there to shoot pool, <coughs> but I couldn't find a parking place. Yeah, that is so well, well attended. Very popular. I, I I just couldn't believe it. And then you got to go like two weeks in advance, I think, yep. to make oh, a yeah. reservation. Yeah, get the waiting list. Uh, but I also heard that the food is excellent, but it's small portions and no dessert. Yeah. You know, so that's some feedback. And it costs well. more. Yeah, it costs five dollars. But that's the people better. are getting thinner. Well, I, I tell you, I just couldn't get over the crowd. I, mean, I was going to, there was obviously nobody up where I was shooting. Yeah. The, the parking was just jammed. And does uh, would have a cook, chef? Yes, they do, full-time yeah. paid chef. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, I guess he's not into desserts, but uh, anyway. So, so uh, do I, am I jumping ahead on your uh, kitchen person? We don't need uh, yeah, I'm not ready. Right, yeah, uh, we're trying him out for different things before we... Put him in that on the position. So what is it you want him to do if he's not going to be the chef? Um, well, he won't be. The, we still have volunteers as chefs, so I'd need him to be kind of coordinate the kitchen, make sure that the volunteers are following serve safe protocols, um, make make sure that we have the um, all the right um, uh, supplies on hand, um, making sure everything in the kitchen is in good working order. If we need to have a new, uh, you know. Clean the stove. If something goes wrong, he's kind of um, just make sure somebody who knows what they're doing in the kitchen is overseeing it because we've got nobody right now except for poor Liza who is kind of overseeing everything and she's so not. 
for instance, one of the chef, one of the volunteers said to me, you know, you come in there and there's the spices, there aren't, you know, what yeah. you need is not there. It's and chaos. Then, yeah, and it really makes we it really difficult for somebody who's inventory. volunteering their mm-hmm. time. Right. And some of them their money to do it. And then they get here and they have to yeah. go run to the store and get yeah. something that they should be here. And mm-hmm. So that's what they thought, you know, coordinator would really be helpful. Mm-hmm. And is this a part-time job? Yes. Okay. What's amazing is that it's worked as well as it has up until that's it. You don't notice it. The fact that it's all volunteers, yeah, because yeah. right. everybody's doing their own thing, and there's nothing that's cohesive about it. So. Yeah, but it, it still manages to work somehow. Yeah, yeah. It's a okay. tribute to the volunteers. Yes, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. So we have it's it has worked when we limp by and it comes out on the other end beautifully, but it is it has a challenge, and and if we could make things easier for people. I have somebody who's not duplicating. Sometimes, too, people don't realize that we might already have garlic powder. They might buy more. We have, Mm -hmm. um, you know, olive oil, Mm -hmm. and they buy another big thing of olive oil. Or just put in a different place every time. You don't know where. We just need somebody to know what they're doing in there. Mm -hmm. So as a a visiting chef, you would appreciate this? Oh, I think it would be a great addition. Okay, good, good. Terrific. And the funding... I know it's not. It's going energy. to be on the formula grant. It's on that's the formula what grant. So the funding is there. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. So the um, chef actual cooks is still an issue. Yes. Yeah. Volunteer. Yes. yes. Cooks. Right. We can always use more. Yeah. But that's why this person that we're, we're interested in could do fill in for those mm-hmm. times. So it's not like, oh, no, what do we do without mm-hmm. a chef? Um, so... It will, you know, okay. it will work out in a lot of different fronts. All right. You all know that we have the suggestion box out there. Um, we did get a suggestion. Um, that that was from me. I was that from you? Okay. <laughs> I, just hate, I hate to go to the post office. It's so oh, dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. It fell on his face, and oh. I saw an elderly gentleman, you know, let's call him advanced middle age, mm. woman fall flat on his face and break wow. his glasses. Wow. Mm. It, I don't go there very often. No, I don't either. I got backed into $2,000 worth of damage. Yikes. Wow. Oh. It's just, it's. I hate to go there. So I put in that suggestion, couldn't we have a box Good here? Idea. It would be a lot a easier idea. for our seniors. Right. So we when, where is this? We have an outgoing mailbox. I mean, we have an outgoing mail um, holder. So you can put your mail there, and yeah. then when the mailman comes, he'll take the mail that's there. Um, but we're also putting in the Vista the, the question and the answer. But there's you can go to drive right by Town Hall and put it right near the yeah, Town that's Hall. Yeah, But it only goes out at 9 o'clock. Mm-hmm. What's a day? I mean, when does, the this, morning. So when does this guy come here? Uh, I mean, the, Usually in the afternoon, afternoon, like 3 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. Hmm. He's here. Yeah. I think that'd be good for people to know. Yes. About what time. Either that or, or I suggest they do two pickups at town hall. I don't know if it warrants it. I don't either. I mean, it's basically for them, I guess. Because I use I know town that's, hall. So I use I town use, hall just for yeah. town hall business, though. Like oh, no, I use it for mail also. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a mailbox there, the too. Oh, there's, there's a, a, mail, mailbox, a separate mailbox. But mailbox. But they pick up yeah. at 9 o'clock. But, but, the but they've the reversed drive. the mailbox. It used to be you could sit in your car and yeah. talk. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 None of that anymore. <laughs> Nothing. Well, Can't be convenient. So Nothing. So how dumb is that? If it's working, let's stop it. When it worked, they got rid of it. That's when it one that doesn't. Yeah. Oh, I like the idea of having it here. Is that for safety? I mean, think it's so people can't put things in there. No, or I think it's... I think they're worried about people putting can't put a bomb in, in the mailbox. Or even large uh-huh. parcels that are maybe hmm. should have yeah. locked. Well, okay. <laughs> well, that's thank you, Nancy. Right. You're welcome. Okay, um, next up. Okay, the um, new van. So, <laughs> are you kidding? I know. I, know. <laughs> I hated to even write it all down, but, you know. Uh, there have been complaints about the van uh, ever since we ada- uh, made the, the adaptions to the van because it's still not an easy. The the two van new, the 2019 vans that we have are still not easy to get in and out of because people have to still like. They, first of all, they're not high. That's why everybody likes van four, which yeah. is the wheelchair accessible van. It's got the height. You can walk up the steps, and it's just people prefer that just because it's very old and continue to fall apart on us. Mm-hmm. So, um, we, I brought it to the, um, they're asking for capital funds. And I said, well, in a perfect world, I need a new van. And instead of throwing me out of the room, um, (laughs) Michelle, the assistant um, town manager, was very um, 
agreeable to listen to what I had uh -huh. to say. Why did it take you so long to come up with that adjective? <laughs> <laughs> happy i'm like it's not really the word agreeable was the thing so she agreed to put it on capital um to do that because if we could sell one of the vans uh she thought that the schools might need it maybe they'd buy one of the, the one of the 2019 vans off of us um and then we we wouldn't have that much more well the town would still have to come up with more but if it was going to be better for the seniors um then um and we're still hoping to keep the old Per the suggestion of um, former Chief Bob Sylvia to keep the old van four um, as a backup in case we do need it, instead of giving it back to surplus and having only one wheelchair accessible van, we'll have the two. Um, and then this new van, if we get it, is going to be something that's comfortable. We can take trips outside of town that people are comfortable driving in. Um, so. It's all up in the air. Um, I did talk to Bob Sylvia. He said he'd be happy. So maybe you and Bob can talk, Paul, if you're willing to do this, because he said he'd also um, stand, talk at um, Capitol and, and um, <clears throat> so, uh, in support of it and why we need it, that kind of thing. So Okay. Yeah. I'm, I've been doing the vehicles for quite some time, and um, Capital Budget has been somewhat receptive to, to it. You know, we ended up getting two vans last go around instead of one. Um, so the question will be, you know, why all of a sudden do we need this one? Um, why didn't we get it back in 2019 will be their question. But um, for right now, it is what it is. I know uh, Rec always wanted to have one of those, a van like those, um, so they could put stuff in it and transport people to different fields. So that, you know, if the school's not going to buy one, then, um, you know, maybe Rec would, would want to take one as well. So um, we know we're getting the new wheelchair van in June, perhaps. Right. So, you know, what we could do is um, that we can basically go in front of them uh, with a nice plan that shows that we haven't asked for any money from them um, for this wheelchair van um, outside of the 20 or 25 percent deposit. Um, and they were willing to put 60,000 aside for us. So perhaps the leftover you know, 30 or 40,000 that they set aside for us um, could be used towards this new van right it's thirty four thousand. yeah it's sitting there and it would be a perfect i would think already right. approved for van bring it up to town meeting and they add the additional amount right yeah. yeah so we would um yeah we would have to see if the school would pay you know from the eighty thousand of the van minus the 35 that's sitting there the school would have to pay 45 which would be a bargain for them um, but I don't know what they're, they beat to a different drum up there. So I don't, I don't know. They have their own, you know, wants and needs. So I'm not sure what the van is on anybody's list up there. So we'd have does to find bring, Does the, the concern from seniors, does this bring up any issues on the van that we ordered? Isn't it the same van? No, the, no. Ford Transit? No. So the van Which, that we're, the wheelchair, the wheelchair van should be like van four now, you know, so we step into it. Right. It's got okay. the wheelchair lift and all that. Yeah. Okay. It's just being able to walk into it right now. They have to, we did, you know, made a little bit of, we made the step and we had the handrails, but they still pulling themselves up. They're still tucking themselves under. It's more like, you know, for people who have limited mobility, it's not an easy way to get in. So preferable. But the new, the one that's on order. Would has alleviate everything that. we want. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So we're just looking for another one like we just ordered, but we don't need the wheelchair accessibility. Right. A lot of the surrounding towns have, you know, a higher population than we do. And, and um, not that the number of people uh, matters, but most of those towns have like two of those types of vans that you would see at the airport, you know, where you just easily step from the curb into the van. Yeah. Um, so... You know, since you mentioned this a couple of months ago, I kind of was checking out other Elder Affairs vans as I I drive from <clears throat> Cohasset to, to Wilmington every day. So I see them a lot. And um, so there are a lot of those small step vans. Um, so it, it would make sense to, to get something now that we have a, a growing population. Um, uh, you know, so maybe some of the 
the younger end of the population for us would utilize the vans no problem at all we can get around to cvs and stop and shop that kind of thing but if we have the other one that accommodates probably a higher level of population of uh, seniors so um well yeah, i we think again if we're going to offer a possibility of a future daycare that's another uh, opportunity right because again it'd be limited mobility mm -hmm. uh so and I would assume that if we did open an adult daycare, we would have to provide transportation. Right not, in town. Not necessarily. Uh, not, not necessarily. 30 bucks a day. This is and it is a social thing. It's not a lot mm -hmm. to ask. There's a difference between daycare and a social at us. I mean, it bar. is something that we could offer depending on if we yeah. if we have the resources <clears throat> for it. I wouldn't rule it out, but it's but I mean the the, the population that would use the van would probably be more disabled than than I would probably currently. Guess that. Yeah. So it, that would be a benefit. Yeah. And the fact that Bobby Sylvia is a driver, I mean, he probably sees a lot of the. A hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, moving on. Um, just so that you guys are all aware, we have new policies now. Um, the especially <coughs> reflexology, um, the nails, the massage, the garden workshops are so popular that people go one month and then they <coughs> just say, okay, book me for January, February, March, you know, mm -hmm. in advance. And by the time, you know, there's just no new people because they don't have a chance to sign up by the time they are aware of it, it's already booked. So we've done a new thing. You can't sign up that far in advance. You now will have to wait until the first of the month um, and okay. then sign up for, for your um, <coughs> The, the session that you want. I think it's going to be more fair and a, a good way to um, to offer it to, to more people. So uh, it might take a little getting used to for people, especially the people who are used to, you know, putting it three on, the, on their schedule. They know, you know, Tuesdays they're doing reflexology or massage or whatever, and they already have it booked up, but um, it is going to be <coughs> open it up to more people. Is there any chance of them, those, these people coming more often? What people? The massage people. And the... Um, we have uh, every once in a while we get somebody to do a second um, day of the month, one, but you. they're very busy <laughs> and they've got um, going to other senior centers or other things. Yeah. So when we can get them a second day of the month, we do. Um, but for the most part, they are booked in other areas. So can you call at midnight and leave a message? <laughs> <laughs> And the new, sure. I guess yeah, if you yeah. want to stay up till midnight, I guess so. If it, we'd see that it says twelve oh one, I guess so. Okay. You could probably do it at right. four fifteen too. Right. <laughs> An insomnia march. Yeah. <laughs> we charge a little more. Yeah. What's that? We charge a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could probably charge a little this more. So wildly popular. Yeah. Yeah. I, right. But I don't want to. I don't, don't want to make it fair for the people who can afford it. You yeah, know, that's know. right. Yeah. I think that's why they're so popular because they're such a service that people yeah. really a, want, know, and like sometimes in some cases to really. Do. And I don't want to exclude anybody and saying, "Oh, sorry." You know. Yeah. You How much do we it. charge for a massage? Yeah. How much? Thirty dollars for thirty minutes. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, it's a great deal, and she's wonderful. Well, if anybody here yeah. who's used yeah. her, mm -hmm. I heard she's awesome. And reflexology, same thing. So, uh, we're having and also a, a new um, <clears throat> a birthday. I'm sorry, a thing like a massage or reflexology could be a shorter session. I know you can't hurry nails, but um, another idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more mm -hmm. patients it, could enjoy the service. Right, I, I like. I've gone to silly like a birthday party or an event and they might do a five minute massage or 10 or, you know for example and then everyone can have a moment it's a in a chair i don't know what anyway just some ideas <laughs> Second Thursday of the month, we're going to have um, anybody who lets us know it's their birthday month. We'll, uh, we'll sing happy birthday and have kind of acknowledge it. So oh, that's nice. the ones who are, you know, especially our regulars who yeah. come here and then people who may not tell us it's their birthday. We don't acknowledge because we don't know or huh. we forget or whatever. So I think it would be a nice way that people like to sometimes there's no other person singing happy birthday to them or saying happy birthday to you. Um, so. <clears throat> Hopefully that's going to be well received. I, I have a feeling it will be. 
Uh, upcoming, I want everybody to be aware. Uh, I know most of you come to the uh, Rusty Skipper concert. Um, it's always a, a big event here, uh, December 19th at 7.30. We'll have them back here. And uh, in, uh, speaking about the um, programming and how well Patty's doing, we have Lyle Nyberg, um, supper, Summer Suffragists. Um, it's a situate author who, I guess, situate was a place where they had a lot of um, people looking for the um, women's right to vote, I believe, is the, um, yeah. the story yeah. is all about. So it ought to be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and that's on January 10th at 1 o'clock. Uh, we did reach um, 388 individuals last month um, for over 1,200 repeat visits to Wilcott Commons. 61 individuals received rides to shopping, woke up commons or errands. Um, 23 were for medical rides on the electric vehicle. So when you give that number, <clears throat> 388, is that, that's not new. It wouldn't be new. In, right. Uh, but not, not new, but right. um, means we only counted them one time. So. So they had to register for something, I guess. <clears throat> yes. So they came in for either yoga, reflexology, men's group. Something. And then if they come in again, then they're a duplicate visit and they get counted into the 1,246. Oh, within that day or within the, for the program? Month. Oh, for the month. Right. Okay. So 300 it. individuals, yep. like each of us, will be counted once. Once. Okay. okay. <clears throat> but if we come in for more than one thing, we're going to... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Which makes sense. Four yep. times a week. People are coming in. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. People usually, yeah, uh, repeat visitors here, which right. is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're getting a lot of new people because of the nice. new programming that's coming on. People who never would have walked in the door or people who thought, oh, you know, the senior center, I wouldn't, you know, I don't I'm go there. Old. Yeah. That's so, old. Exactly. so we're getting people to start looking at us in a new way. And we really need to build up the younger seniors so that by the time they really need us, you know, at 70, 80, they know about us. They're not like, oh, what's the senior center? Um, so that's our thought process of getting the younger the crowd boomers. in here so by the Bring time yeah, there's plenty of things <laughs> out there yeah do you have any questions for me yeah. Yeah. did you did you end up getting the uh, valor act applications yes okay. we did print those out now i want to bring the applicant have you seen it i've i've submitted one okay good because it doesn't say anything about uh trust uh, fund no details uh, I, don't I know i don't know whether that's being absorbed or not. I mean, it's a state regulation, but get put the application in and we'll see what right. happens. Well, we'll see what happens. So far, nothing crickets. I, I don't know. I know. I know. I, I get the same feeling. Yeah. So, and I'm suspicious to begin yeah. with. And do we um, have the forms here, Nancy? Because I asked me to find they're them. They're online. Too. You can they're actually. Yeah, but they're supposed to be physical copies here, too. Oh, are they? That we bring up to. Uh, the office of uh -huh. So you can do it either way. You can go online and send it in, email it. But if for those of you who do not use uh, online or it's not easy for you, we have a supply here so that people can pick it up and still send it over to the. Well, pantry. I'm going to fill out a paper one because I did it as well online. Got no confirmation that anything yeah. went through. So I'm going to do the paper. <clears> well. Probably. I don't want to give many excuses. You can be ignored two different ways. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, on the application, it didn't say anything about the trust fund. Uh, no. Whether yeah. they're going to try to absorb that or not, I don't know. And then how do you prove, for instance, I was like, Jeff drives for fish. So that's what the ROT was going to submit. So how do you prove? That, well, I, I, that my understanding, like? and, I, and everything keeps changing, but my understanding is you're going to fill in your time as if you were a town employee. So you, you submit your hours to the town, I guess through you, you know, if, if the, 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 the veteran's working here. That you did it. Yeah, certified that you did. And then the town keeps track of all that stuff. Oh. Uh, but that's the last I heard before I was cut out of the planning stage. So it's so. each department. So um, Jeff, because it's under senior center, would make sure I am aware of his, the hours that he does. We, through this town, through the way you keep hours. Through the way for you. I keep the hours. I mean, but uh, as an employee. Right. Uh, no, that's not what I was told. Okay. I just give them a, a um, we'll probably even do it on the kiosk because then we could do it. Mm -hmm. We can um, make sure or they could give it to me directly. We'll have to figure out some way that we do that. <laughs> right. um, but then I submit at the end, like if there's three, four people, I then submit it, um, say Jim Murphy, you know, 10 hours, uh, you know, Jeff Nothnagel, eight hours or whatever. Mm -hmm. I submit it to the, um, I believe I'll send it to 
the VSO, and then he collects everything from every department and submits it to the assessor's office. That's my understanding until they tell me differently. You probably will be told differently, but but I don't. <laughs> uh, I again, I don't know what the, those new instructions are going to be. Um, now, how many? I know you've offered some positions here. What, what positions have you um, offered? Uh, for volunteer chefs, um, drivers, um, front receptionists at the front desk, um, instructors. The drivers you're paying, though, right? Well, we Not all of fish drivers as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. um, we'd love some volunteer instructors. You know, we know that this town is teeming with uh, intellectuals, somebody who could teach a class. Uh, history class or something on current events or whatever. So we'd love to get somebody like that who could teach a class or um, those are the kind of things that we're looking for, something that's a little bit different um, outside of the box. Now, did you expect me or uh, Phil to figure out who you get or do you want to interview the individual people? We want to people? interview them. We want to okay. make sure it's a good fit. So, okay. Um, okay. Um, I have not heard anything from Phil. So once he sends to me and says, you know, these are the people who said that they'd like to work at the senior center, we'll figure out where it would be a good fit, talk to them. And then how many um, hours are willing to participate? Right. Okay. right. Because That's some good. places we're not going to have, an, you're not going to fill up a hundred hours. Right. Um, We'll do the best we can to okay. give them enough hours. Well, this thing has been a boondoggle from the start, so we'll see how, <laughs> how it finally ends up. Uh, and what's interesting, Hull's had this operation now for two years. They have zero people doing it. Wow. Hingham's had it for six years. They've got two people doing it. Wow. Yeah, so uh, it, it that tells it, me they're not promoting it very but well. Not only not promoting it, I think but they're, not putting of, they're putting they a lot of roadblocks in yeah. it. Yeah. Like us was supposed to start last July, yeah, uh, and it's I, not being promoted now. I heard either. Norwell saying that they've had it for like ten years mm. and forty people, and it's booming. Wow! So I'm mean, <laughs> wow. thinking, yeah. it depends yeah, on friends in Norwell who did yeah. it. Well, I know in Norwell, it wasn't just what? veterans though. Norwell is seniors. Seniors. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Seniors. Right. But I have, yeah, she and her husband both do it in Norwell. You know, and she worked in the library. It's like the maximum number of hours as a volunteer. It's a great way to encourage yeah, it is. volunteering, yeah. though, yeah. as right. well as saving some money. Sure. Well, one thing I know in Norwell, they have had the program where people, hours. apparently they have a uh, hundred uh, hours. Wheels on Meals. Meals on Wheels. Yeah, and so wheels people who meals. pack the meals or something like that. Do we do yeah. that? Wheels on Meals. Yeah. yeah. That too. Another opportunity. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, no, they, there's no specifics about whether yeah. it's a taxable <laughs> remuneration oh, yes. or not. Well, no, you do have to pay. I, I think federal, but not well, state. Well, no, you're how they not paying Social Security. You pay some, I don't know what it's called, but it's three or four initials in Cohasset for an employee that there's some some... Aside from Social Security or normal stuff you have to pay, your insurance, there's some other three or four letter thing that they take a deduction out of your pay. Of course it is. As and, a town employee? Yes. You don't pay Social Security as a town employee. Well, okay. Well, whatever, you pay this, you pay this thing, other thing. Like on fifteen <laughs> on a $15 an hour thing, I think it's like $2. Oh, yeah. You pay, you pay, I think yeah. they're making you, yeah, the volunteers pay OPRA. OPRA, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And what does yeah. OPRA stand for? Yeah. Yeah. Omnibus um, um, Reconciliation Oprah. Act. Oprah. Don't ask me what it means. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what, so I think it's like, I'm not sure if it's, uh, maybe Paul, you would know more than I. Is it like workman's comp or, I don't know, something, something to, I don't know what it is. But yeah, one, they of, are making well, one of the new, one of the new taxes that are there is the uh, Paid Family Leave Act, <laughs> so that the PFLA uh, stuff is out there. So there's a, um, there's a new tax that's on, that's on everybody's payroll, which is, um, Money comes out of your check every week, like the Social Security does. It goes into a fund. So if you want to utilize the Family Leave Act, uh, the money is there to be able to take the money out. But I don't think that's being affected by this, the tax work off. I think it's there. It's I don't know if they're thing. adding that. I think it's the OBRA, um, that tax that they are making everybody pay into. Um, which it's is starting to sound like the soprano. Well, that's what I mean. They're, put, they're putting all these yeah. 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 That's the state, not the yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, it state. must be a municipal. Okay. Yeah, it's not private industry. It's probably a municipal version yeah. of it. Yeah. 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 Well, well, the idea is that you don't, for 100 hours, you don't get $1,500 off your taxes. Right. You get something well, less off yeah. your taxes. Yeah. So it would have to be 110 or 115 hours. To get the full amount. I, I, I asked that question. I was told you can't do that to get the full fifty. 
Yeah. I, so I think it's based up to on 15, but you can't get it. Right. <laughs> See what I mean, roadblocks? Yeah. I think I think based on the PowerPoint presentation we had on the town hall, they need a couple of handyman over there. So oh, that's what I, this is about. I, 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 I wouldn't worry about the number of hours. Uh, uh, plenty, plenty of hours for handyman at the town hall. All you want. <laughs> Mm -hmm. wow. uh, another thing I noticed is um, when we had to cancel cornhole last week, we got a notice from Patty and it was fine. I mean, obviously going to need another notice today because nothing going on tomorrow, but it was odd. It was just the highlight on the mail was notice and it didn't, you know, and luckily I went a little further and I saw it was CEA. Um, so I don't know if those notices, although I appreciate them coming out, if they could be a little more descriptive. Mm -hmm. You might just think it was spam if you just saw notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, have the uh, email addresses changed? Dot yes. Or, or dot, all dot, uh, dot, gov. Or, dot, 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 dot gov and not They're dot all dot gov. gov, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Name is the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's got to be a little interim time that'll... <coughs> everybody, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you still send anything to me or the staff under dot or, org. org, it's going to go to dot gov. Dot. It was dot org in the first place. That's kind of it's dot, it, it has been dot org now it's dot gov yeah. should have probably always been yeah yeah you got a mail letter didn't you everybody yes. got a letter yes yeah anything else nothing for me any questions for Nancy can I get a motion on accepting director's report so moved so, oh second second all those in favor aye aye aye, aye. opposed aye approved Okay. So now just general discussion. Anybody okay. have anything? Catherine? Well, I, I, I don't know. I just might be interested in um, I think as a result of a rabble rousing that our CA, uh, CHA board did a year and a half ago. I'm oh, sorry, CHA? Housing Authority. Okay. Yeah. Um, there have been some dramatic changes in how the state is dealing with housing authorities, which is good, a good thing. For instance, um, the state came up with a large amount of money that our director applied for, like before he even hit the computer. <laughs> and, um, and we were able to hire people from the Taunton Housing Authority to come in and rehab 12 apartments at, Ooh, oh, great. at great. the state's wow. expense. Nice. Wow, that's great. really nice. Which is, and that was one of our biggest problems because we didn't have a permanent maintenance person. Now we do, but you know, he was just getting started. We just didn't have the personnel to rehab the empty apartments. Hmm. Now we nice. have. So, and then the other thing is that they took over their, the champ list, the waiting list. And um, for the most part, that's been helpful. They, they like, they're doing the certification of the work things. The, the, at the state level so that we don't have to do all the certifications of people on the list before we offer an apartment. So we've been able to um, place um, several people oh, good. Um, in there and we'll continue. We have, you know, you know, more coming in this month. So. But again, it's still state people, not Cohasset people. Well, no, that was the next thing I was going to tell you. Almost everybody that has come in has been a local. Oh, so good. Which is great. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. So and the state filtering. directed it that way? Or you no, somehow no, finagled it's it? Like this, and, you know, not everything has been perfect, but um, Colleen now is, you know, she's aware we're not, <laughs> the board's not supposed to know anything, but, you know, we do say, well, look out for this person, you know, there are these people from the asset that need help. And, um, like, she went on to the list about one of these people, and they didn't have him marked as a veteran and he was a veteran and she went and, and but now they're she's able to go in and change that wow, great. So, uh, so that moved oh, him great. from number 300 great. to number one mm, great. Well, as a veteran great. so um so that's good you know i think that within another couple of months we will be filled up and we just had a christmas party last week um which i thought was very interesting we had had one last year and <clears throat> Everybody that came, which was about half of the tenants, were people who had been there a long time. Um, this year, 
They were about half the tenants. They were all new, all yes. new tenants. Wow. Or not all new, but many new <laughs> tenants. And they were all locals. Mm. So, and they knew each other. It was oh, just great. really nice. Fun. Yeah. Sense of community was very yeah. nice. And like they were all good friends in high school. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So I think we're really making good progress. And we have a fabulous new young maintenance man that they all love. And I think he'll be there hopefully long term. He's got a yeah. history of great. His father works for housing authority. His brother works for housing authority. So okay. it's like you know he knows, um, you know how it, how things happen there. So, so the, the apartments are full. Not yet, but they will be. Right. That's terrific. Months, yeah, oh, that's yeah. nice. That's it still nice. takes a lot, you know, and so we'll see. Yeah. That's great. Probably, when the big one happens, you'll know. I think it'll be all the, the you know. <laughs> And the Legion did that Christmas party. They funded it. They didn't. They couldn't do it. Uh, they said they didn't. They used to do a Christmas party for mm -hmm. us on a, a dinner, big whole turkey dinner, and the whole thing, and presents for everybody. For years they did it, but then it stopped before COVID or at COVID. And they they don't have the personnel to do it anymore, but they did fund it, and we had it all got it all from the Stop and Shop with their money. It was great. Nice. That's a very nice. Hmm. Anything else? I don't think so. Well, to adjourn. Well, we'll entertain a motion. And we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. On the motion, on the motion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. We are adjourned. Aye.